If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. We're ranking all of the best shooting guards in 2K22, my team, and it's going to be an absolute joy. We have a full list through the hard pass, still decent, pretty damn solid, baby demon and demons tier. And honestly, I'm a big fan of most of these cards. We have a lot of cards to cover, so we're just going to hop right into it. Let me know your favorite shooting guard down below, and let's start it off with everybody in the hard pass tier, which is first, my man, this Amethyst Zach Levine. Now, Amethyst Zach Levine... Uh, was one of those, I think, exchange cards or token mark cards. Either way, just a new card that you can get for essentially free, and it, he's just not very good, if we're being 100% honest. Uh, just really not any sort of reason to get excited, nor use this card at all for being 100%. Next is my man Michael Red. Michael Red is actually a pretty damn good card, if I'm being honest, for a pink diamond that came out ages ago. Uh, but in the current state of my team, he's got a normal timing jumper, and he's got the base dribble style. There is literally almost no reason to use him. Uh, Cam Thomas is actually pretty good, but has literally zero defensive badges and just won't play any sort of defense. He has 70 on quick in the quick dribble style, but basically everybody can get buckets now at every level. Uh, Steve Smith is up next. He does have jump shot 22 on quick, which to some people, pretty money jumper that a lot of people like, but base dribble style, and I'm not really messing with anybody that has the base dribble style at this point in 2K. Michael Jordan has his MJ jumper on the normal timing of the slash and dribble style. And again, if it ain't quick, it ain't shifty, Derek Rose, something like that. Something where you can actually burst with. There is no point for yourself to be on the squad. Uh, next is Ruby Eric Gordon. Just, he shoots. Good enough. He shoots. Uh, next, Amano Ginobili, probably the worst jumper in uh, this year that I've used in uh, Jump Jack 18, and it's on normal. I honestly just need to find some more people that could fit into this last year, so I threw the man Mono in here. Uh, same thing with uh, actually uh, most of these uh, cards left. Cade Cunningham, but just he came out before they decided to give us the Opal, so this one just really was not good before he got Jump Shot 80 or anything kind of decent on the cord. Um, they definitely held this guy just a little bit. Uh, Cliff Hagen. It just has a set shot 17 on normal bad dribble style kevin porter jr same thing base dribble style no real reason to use guys with that dribble style at this point in the year same thing with clyde drexler just has the base dribble style jump shot five is pretty decent and he is a good slasher but just no reason to use a guy that can't burst or have at least a quick jumper at this point in the year and then we got sam jones who um, again doesn't have the greatest dribble shots and has a, a slower time to jump shot 22 just really not worth your time having him on the squad. He's more of a negative than he is a uh, positive, even though he can be pretty decent sometimes. Um, so we can start it off with the still decent, which is starting off with my man Buddy Heald. Uh, I actually saw Buddy Heald and I was like, oh, I'll include him. Uh, was the first guy to, I think have the Kobe jumper on quick, had the quick dribble style as well, and had some pretty good defense. He is definitely undersized and at this point, definitely too small to play that two guard super consistently. And is definitely outdated, so he's just missing a lot of badges. That's really the main reason why I put him down. Just not enough badges to really contend uh, with the rest of the guys up here. But can still, you know, be all right in a pinch if you need him. Uh, next to my man Avery Bradley and uh, honestly wasn't in the bottom tier just because he could play the point guard position. Pretty sure he's jumped off 40 and has some pretty good defense, but other than that, uh, nothing crazy. Will Barton actually has one negative in my book and that's the fact that his jumper's slow for a ruby. He can do everything, good dribble style, good defense, good finishing, but the jumper was just a little bit too slow for me to put him up anything higher on the list. Uh, Tyler Hero is another version of like a play shot where you're going to dribble around and get a bunch of threes, but the defense is definitely going to be very lackluster on the card to say the least. Uh, next is Paul Arzen and Victor Oladipo who both have, I think, jump shot 95 on the quick timing. And it's, it's a good jumper, but after experiencing what it's like on very quick, I no longer want to use it on quick. So both these guys are getting knocked down. Oladipo, better defender. Arzen, a better, I think, finisher and shooter. But both of these in a little mat, in my opinion. Uh, Rip Hamilton has jump shot 40 on the quick timing. And again, arguably is a very good 3 and D card. But I just don't think the jump shot 40 on quick is really all that crazy. I think you need to have it on very quick at this point in the year. It's just, it's still a little bit too slow. It does have the quick dribble style and does have good defense. But I just don't think it's enough to keep him up in the higher tiers. Uh, Emerald Luka, amazing, unguardable jumper. Only problem is, is he just doesn't play defense. If he had a better jumper, I could put him higher. Larry Hughes, just an outdated card who has good defense, good finishing, um, stuff like that. But, you know, again, beta jumper that's just not really helping us out too much. Uh, Corver arguably is a very good, you know, catch and shoot card, has a great jumper. But defense has been pretty lackluster whenever I've used this Corver personally, and I just don't really love the card all that much. Um, I know some people still use him and still have some fun with him, and he can be okay in draft mode but just not my cup of tea. And then uh, one might be a surprise to people is Joe Dumars. Now, I recently just got this Joe Dumars, and honestly, 
I just, I'm not a fan. Jump Shot 36, I've said it on the quick timing, just wasn't good, and I was hoping that I'm very quickly better, and it's just really not. Joe Dumars does have some good defensive finishing, but you want to play him at the point guard position, but he's only 6'3", and with a lot of the tall the PG's out right now, he just doesn't really have a place. A bit underwhelming, in my opinion. And then Lance Stevenson, who's just a bit outdated at this point, missing some badges and things like that, but can still be okay in a pinch if you really, really want to use a Lance Stevenson card for whatever reason you deem necessary. Uh, starting off the pretty damn solid tier, we have my man Ben Wallace. Ben, very good card, a very fun card that I know a lot of people have some fun with because he has absolutely amazing defense. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of, what is it, jump shot 34 or 37 that he's got, but it is fast, and I think he has that slasher dribble style, so it does feel kind of clunky out there. His defense is absolutely amazing, and that's the sole reason that you're using Ben. He can be good, but if you're looking for anything extra, it might be a bit underwhelming. Uh, next, Adrian Dantley, which for a token market card is probably one of the best that we have. I did a whole video on what token market cards you probably want to pick up, and I don't, I didn't really rank Adrian too high, but he is pretty damn decent for 750 tokens if you just want to move up to the Dark Matter tier. He's not bad. Uh, Benny Del Negro is basically the same as City Moncrief, but has uh, it's just slightly worse defense. You know, jump shot 28 on quick, quick dribble style, dribbles around like that, and he'd be fun for a free card. Uh, just nothing, you know, insane. But you obviously want to run him as a PG, not a shooting guard if you have the option. Uh, next, Stacy Augman, actually crazy. Got jump shot five on very quick. Amazing, amazing slasher. And at 6'8", has beautiful size uh, for the shooting guard position. Um, I really think that Stacy Augman is a great amethyst. Um, just obviously, he's still an amethyst, so it's kind of hard to, you know, skyrocket him up some tiers um, on the list here. Uh, next to City Monker, if we talked about it, he's basically just Vinny Del Negro, just has some better defense. If you've used Vinny Del Negro, you've used Sydney. Uh, next, we have Ray Allen. Uh, just got moved down because, yes, he does have a good dribble style, some decent enough defense. But really, the main thing is having that Ray Allen jumper. So Ray Allen with only his own jumper on quick just is not good enough to stick. Well, a lot of cards are going to get on very quick, one of which we'll talk about pretty soon. It's just a little bit tough for him to find his spot. Uh, we have Max Struss, who has Jump Shot 5 on very quick. Super fun and a card that uh, is going to be a little bit of money, you know, on the betting. Got a few bets with uh, Max Struss, which is kind of fun. But basically, you bring Struss out there because he is a lights out shooter that can still kind of play some defense at 6'5 for the two. He basically can do everything pretty well, but is really just a knockdown shooter. And uh, same thing goes with JJ Reddick. Yes, he can do other things out there on the court, but really what you have him out there for is to just shoot the lights out and. Uh, kind of fill in places ever otherwhere uh next jerry sloan jump shot 40 on it very quick actually pretty nice i've used this jerry sloan for a little bit myself and he's actually a fun card he's got a nice jumper and again 40 on very quick feels decent enough to uh consistently use i just don't think he's you know top of the line he's just a really good shooting guard uh next jason richardson has jump shot 56 on a quick is essentially a chris middleton that can get up with some crazy crazy bounce and that's why you use uh, Jason Richardson because the guy can dunk and give you some highlights and just be really fun to use out there. Uh, Isaac Okoro, beautiful 3 and D card. I think he's got jump shot 20 on very quick and his defense is lights out. You get this guy in the draft mode and it's basically guaranteed W's because he is seriously a super good shooting guard uh, but in the grand scheme of thing, I need him a little do a little bit more but he is uh, really good for draft mode so be excited if you do see him on your squad right there. Next, Evan Mobley who's essentially out there for defense. He's got jump shot, I think, 94, 84, something like that with a 4 at the end. And uh, it's basically just a good catch and shoot jumper. It's not really one that you want to take off the dribble because it is a little bit slow. Uh, but Evan Mobley is a seven footer center that plays a shooting guard, is gonna lock everybody down. He's not gonna dribble or do anything crazy like that himself. But he still is, in my opinion, really fun to use because he just locks it down on the defensive end. And I love, 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 love good defensive cards. Uh, starting off the baby demon tear, we got my man Bradley Bill, which is exactly why I had to move Ray Allen down, because Ray Allen is essentially a two inches taller Bradley Bill that has a slower jumper and can't play the point guard position, so I moved Bill up to baby demon. I know a lot of people have fun with this Bradley Bill, but I'm personally not a massive fan of him. I just think he's a good all around, you know, shooting guard that can do what he needs to do out there. Um, but honestly, offensively, he's great. It's just defensively, I really haven't found a way to uh, play too well with Bill. Uh, next is Allen Houston. And if you are not aware, Alan Houston just got an Evo today, um, right before recording this video, where he actually got an Evo upgrade. So 
He's actually insane now. So if you haven't, go to 2kdb.net and check out Allen Houston with his new Evo. Or if you have Allen Houston, get that Evo done. He's a 6'6 guy now that after you make 35 three-pointers, becomes a dark matter, gets Ray Allen on very quick, the quick dribble style with the Zach Levine size up, long athlete, some great dunking now, has good enough defensive tendencies and crazy good three in the ability now. Insanely good. Allen Houston, by far now that he's a really chewed up dark matter, is into the baby demon tear. Uh, Jamal Crawford's up next. We kind of know what Jamal does. He's got that Trey Break jumper. He has a nice dribble style. He's going to be absolutely cooking people's ankles. And it's just a fun card to have on the court if that's what you're looking to do. He's definitely not like the most insane card by any means. But he's got damn fun point guard to use because he's just he's breaking everybody's ankles. Uh, next is Reggie Lewis. He stayed at the top for a while. Basically a Kemba Walker with crazy good defense and dunking ability. And it's just fun to see him out there. Uh, Ronald Murray, actually crazy good. Basically another version, basically a free version of Jamal Crawford that you get for just leveling up in 2K at like one of the first cards too, which is crazy. Um, I personally really like this Ronald Murray. I think he's a great all-around guy. He can play at the point guard position and just cook people with ankles and has decent enough size to guard some of the other guys in the game. I'm a fan. Uh, next, my man Clay Thompson. Well, we all kind of know what Clay does. He's got the Clay Thompson jumper on. I think this one has it on very quick, but I could be mistaken. Um, and crazy good defense. I mean, all around it's Clay. Use him as a 3 and D guy who can dribble absolutely insane. Just sometimes his finishing can be fairly weak. Uh, next, my man Norman Powell. I got this guy in the draft mode and absolutely loved every second of it because Powell has crazy good defense, has good enough size that that defense actually feels really good against some of the taller PGs in the game. He's finishing well and jump shot 32 is awesome. He's basically the Opal Curry that we got, uh, like Opal Steph Curry, just with some uh, better defense, essentially. Uh, next is Jalen Brown, 75 on it quick and absolutely amazing defense. Jalen Brown's just one of those like cards like Kawhi that just plays defense better than you would think that he would. And it's just super fun to see out there. Love me some Jalen Brown. Uh, Marcus Smart being a 6'3 PG is crazy. Has his jumper on very quick, the quick dribble style, and it's just locked down on the defensive end. When it comes to 6'3 PGs, there's not many that are as good or even, there's really not too many better than Marcus Smart. He's just, he's all around great. Uh, next is Clyde Drexler. Does only have the quick uh, jumper. Um, on his jump shot five, but has the uh, quick dribble style and is a six foot seven guy that's playing your point guard position. Yes, it takes a while to get Clyde because he's part of the collector level, but I do think he's a you know a baby demon point guard uh, out there just because he can he has great size and he can do everything that you need him to. And defense always feels better when you're using taller players. That's just kind of how it works. Uh, Marquise Johnson is up next. Jump shot eight is actually pretty damn solid. I've had fun with that uh, pink diamond Gary Payton in the second. Has actually been really good. So I think this Marquise Johnson is better than people give him credit for because he also has great finishing. He's an awesome playmaker as well. You can really cook him up and use him basically as a point guard. Super fun guard, honestly. And uh, last but not least is my man Kevin Herter, who is basically a six foot seven Trey Young that is locked down on the defensive end. And I've had a lot of fun when it comes to budget cards. In my opinion, Kevin Herter is probably one of the best budget shooting guards in the entire game. It's just super easy to use him. Great catch and shoot option. Can even dribble a little bit if you need him to. Just great, great, great all around two guard for especially his price. Um, and then last but not least, we got the Demons here, which is starting off with my man Zach Levine. Levine's got his jumper on very quick, is a 6'6 six six PG that can dunk on everybody, has a beautifully money jumper, and can play make lay nobody's business. He's just all around one of the best, basically, point guards in the entire game, because you're not really going to run him at the two. You're probably running him at the PG, and that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, next, my man Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam is just crazy. I mean, we're talking about a 6'9 power forward. I can play your shooting guard position with jump shot 75 on very quick. He's keeping his lockdown defense. He's keeping his great defense or finishing and playmaking and now has really juiced up shooting and is a two guard. It is absolutely insane what this uh, Pascal Siak can do and I absolutely love him. And in my opinion, I actually think he's better than the next guy on the list, which is uh, shooting guard Giannis, uh, just because Giannis has to jump around quick, but Giannis is still six foot 11 and is playing your shooting guard position. The defense that he brings, the finishing that he brings is just crazy. You can't make a pass by this Giannis without him stealing it and Honestly, it's pretty frustrating at times. Uh, next, Invincible Kobe Bryant. I mean, it's Kobe who has one of the best releases in the game. It's 6'6", and it's just absolutely godly when it comes to just everything that you need him to do because he has every single Hall of Fame badge almost. He's great. Uh, next up, maybe one of my favorite cards out right now, and super cheap as well for a Dark Matter, Jalen Green. Basically, he is Victor Oladipo and Paul Arzen with a faster jumper, better defense, better finishing, better shooting, better playmaking, and just feels so good, so easy to get open with. Love this Jalen Green card. Uh, next is my man, Dr. J. Um, Julius Irving is a crazy good dark matter because he has the Rudy Gay jumper on, I think, very quick and really good playmaking, really good defense. He can be a little bit undersized at 6'6 for the two guard. I really don't think it matters, honestly. I've had a lot of fun with this Dr. J. 
and it's just it's fun you know pulling back the right stick doing some crazy dunks right over people it's just i don't know i like it uh next is josh giddy now i know some people don't love the jason kid jumper but we're talking about a guy who is six foot eight can do everything and is going to play your point guard position and really doesn't feel that clunky at all honestly josh giddy is still staying up here in the demon seat for me um and same thing with jordan Poole. i just love this card the kent baysmore jumper is just a jumper that i personally find stupid easy to time and it basically means that i'm not missing with jordan Poole. it's so easy to get open with him it's so easy to just green damn everything with him and he's six four so he still has good size with that great jumper i'm keeping him up there uh, next, my man Joe Johnson, jump shot 38 on very quick, great dribbling, uh, basically is a dribbling Kemba Walker with jump shot 38, which is super fun, and he has pretty damn good defense as well, all around, I mean, Joe Johnson, he's pretty damn solid. Uh, next, my man Jimmy Butler, uh, this version of Jimmy is actually insane, the fact that they're giving out this Jimmy for free is just unreal, and the fact that I don't see him more often is honestly kind of wild to me because he is that good. Uh, Jimmy, basically one of the best guard defenders in the entire game that has jump shot 22 on very quick one of the best jumpers in the game and he's just absolutely insane uh next jerry stackhouse who again is a card that just recently got an evo and after this evo he becomes a crazy good 99 dark matter because he gets a uh, jump shot one now on very quick they now give him the scotty behind the back which is obviously really good and jerry is a 6'6 so he's just like a kobe kind of guy goes from 19 hall of fame badges to 33 and is just now a great defender a great playmaker he's an even better shooter and with a faster jumper now and keeps his crazy good dunking along with now getting gold giant slayer and grace under pressure and honestly it's just a crazy good card if you haven't checked out um all of the new evos you definitely should it makes a lot of these cards so 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 much better including this jerry stackhouse who's now a dark matter if you have him you basically go from an opal to a free dark matter just like that it's crazy um and last but not least on the entire list is my man james harden harden obviously is up here because when he plays the point guard position he's great definitely one of the more unorthodox players he has a little bit of a different way of getting open and just using his dribble moves which can to some people make him feel weird uh but i personally really like this james harden i've liked him since they gave us the free you know glitched amethyst it's just been fun to use love the harden jumper especially on very quick his finishing feels nice his defense feels smooth and at 6-5 with his really high strength can actually guard most taller point guards pretty well uh so i'm leaving james harden up there in the uh, demon series well so let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new as well as let me know your personal favorite guy to run at the shooting guard position in nba 2k 22 my team hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video buy cheap and safe nba 2k 22 mt at nba 2 kingcom you can use code excapart that's e-x-c-a-p-a-r for five percent off your entire purchase